So in this video, we'll be looking at donating a device on Furbed IT. So this, if you've got any old equipment lying around, it could be a, an old laptop, desktop computer, could be the monitor, keyboard, um, smartphone or normal mobile phone, tablet, or iPad, anything like that that you don't, uh, that you don't use anymore, don't need anymore, um, no matter how old it is, um, you can donate to Furbed IT and um, they will either recycle it responsibly or if it's been able to be used again it will be securely wiped and then refurbished um, and then given out to someone um, in need um, so first of all to find the Furbed IT website if you go into Google um, or we just type in there Furbed IT and if we look it's the first result that comes up so it's verbit.org.uk. So we just click on that first result. And that takes us to the Furbed IT website. On here, if you want to know a little bit more about Furbed IT, how it began, what it does and why to use it, you can have a read on here. We just click on the tabs along the top. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, maybe you'll be able to answer it on here. And if we look on there, it will be explains about the process. Uh, you can look at, there's a couple of success stories. And if you need to contact Furbed IT with regards to anything, um, you can just fill out the contact form there and click on the contact us. What we're going to do today, we click back on the home, is that we're going to show you how to donate equipment. If you're an individual, you would click here where it says individual donor. If it's the first time you've donated, you won't have a login, so you can just fill out the form. By filling out the form, it will create a Furbed IT account, which you can use um, for later for further donations. Um, we just read that form up there. Um, once you've read that statement, if, you, if you're happy to proceed, just click confirm and agree, and then you've got the form here, which to fill in. So it's quite self-explanatory. Your first name, your surname, um, your email address, uh, which will become your username for the account. And that's so we can email your confirmation. A telephone number in case to contact you. You notice these got an asterisk on it, which they need to be filled in. And um, the drop off point on the one on there, it's coming up at the Hope Foundation, but there are several around Middlesbrough. And um, you can choose which one is more convenient for yourself. Um, and then what you need to do is just enter the assets so any devices sorry that you want to uh, donate so they're classed as asset one to five um, if you've just got one it doesn't matter if you've got multiple you can put that in so if you had different types of equipment so you might have a laptop and um, once you've selected it you can put the manufacturer in so that will come to Pazesa, the model, if you know it, um, but it's not necessary. The quantity, if you have more than one, um, just click on there and put that in, but it always comes up as one anyway. If you've got any any notes, so um, is the charger missing or anything you'd like to add that you think would be relevant, you can type that in there. Um, if you had another device, so we've got a, a mobile phone as well. Um, you click on there and then Put the manufacturer in the model number quantity again and just go down and fill that form to all the devices are in that you would like to donate and then once that's completed you'll see down at the bottom it just got confirmed donation so you just click on there and once that's been once that's been um, clicked it will you'll get a confirmation email through If you are a corporate donator, you, uh, you corporate donor, sorry, you click on here, become a corporate donor, and it's the same process. Read the form. If you're happy, agree with that, click on there. And then obviously it's a bit of a larger form with it being an organization. So it's got your details on, email address and the details about your organization. Once you've completed that, just fill in the asset list as we did before and confirm donation. And it's as simple as that. Once you have completed the form on the Furbed IT website for your donation, you will receive a confirmation email from Furbed IT that looks like this. Um, it will have the details of the drop-off point, um, 
and it will have the Q a QR code which you'll need to take with you when you drop it off. So you can either print that off or you can, if you have a smartphone, you can have that email open on your smartphone and we'll just scan that when it gets dropped off. You will also um, receive a password. So this is for a login. So when you've completed, by completing that form, you will have set up a, an account with Ferbed IT. Um, and that's the password will be on there for the first time that you log in. Um, obviously, it will ask you to change that password the first time that you do that. Um, but if you donate anything in the f any other devices in the future, or if you just want to see the progress of your donation, you can log in and have a look. Um, and if you've got another device to donate, you just fill that form in again. So that's it. That's all you need to know about donating a device for the first time um, and setting up an account um, by donating the device on Ferbed IT.